Okay, I know we talked about this in class, but I want to do a quick review entitled Metric Conversion Made Ridiculously Easy. So let's say you want to do a conversion. Something quick like 250 centimeters equals how many decimeters? This involves knowing a bunch of things. One, that centimeters are cm, the dm means decimeters, and then what do all these things mean? Well, let's talk about the relative size for just a second. So that's about the size of one centimeter. That's about the size of one decimeter. A decimeter is 10 centimeters or one tenth of a meter. So when it comes to doing metric conversions, you need to know a few things. One, you need to know what each of the prefixes of each of the different measurements mean how much they're worth, and then how to change from one to another quickly. So one way to remember this is with a mnemonic. Mnemonic is just a device to help you remember something. So the one I like to use is Mr. King Henry died by drinking chocolate moldy milk. And this takes you through mega, kilo, hecto, deca, base, Base just means one of anything, and this is usually just the units by themselves, like meters, liters, grams, and in some cases, seconds. Deci is one-tenth, centi is a hundredth, milli is a thousandth, and micro is a millionth. It says skip two steps here and skip two steps here, because there aren't any separate prefixes for hundred thousands and ten thousands, and likewise down here, there isn't an extra prefix for either of these two steps, which would represent ten thousandths and hundred thousandths. So first step is to remember these. That will help you at least know the first letter of all the prefixes from mega to micro. The next is to learn how to use the stair-step conversion method. The next picture is a little bit overwhelming at first, but we'll walk through it and you'll see that it's actually a really easy to use and useful tool. So the stair-step conversion method involves 13 steps going from mega at the top to micro at the bottom. The steps go from the upper left to the lower right and if you're going to draw them out they always have to go in that direction for a reason that will become clear in a minute. So mega the abbreviation is a capital M. It's equivalent to 10 to the 6th or a million. These two steps, as we just said, don't actually have any special prefix that go with them. Then it goes kilo, lowercase k, 10 to the 3rd or 1,000. Hecto is 100. That's the lowercase h. Deca, you could also spell it with a c, but I usually prefer the k, so it's distinguished from deci. So deca is the only one that has a two-letter prefix, da, not to be confused with the plain d for deci. And that just means ten of something. Base, there's no prefix. So the m you would see here by itself would be just meters. Group g would be grams, capital L would be liters, lowercase s would be seconds. Then deci is one-tenth, centis one-one-hundredth, milli is one-one-thousandth, Again, these two steps don't have special names. Then micro is one one millionth. And this little symbol here is the Greek letter mu. So basically the Greek version of a lowercase m. If you were to type it on the computer, you can use option m to type it if you're doing type notes. So now let's go back to the original conversion using this stair diagram to help us. So 250 centimeters equals how many decimeters? Well, here's how you would do it. You would first look at your starting point. Our starting point is centimeters, centi. Starting there, and we're going to finish at deci. So let's go back to the stairs. We're going from centi, which is right here, 
to deci, which is going one step up and to the left. The to the left part is really important because that's the direction we're going to end up moving the decimal point. We're going up because we're going to a higher or larger unit. So if we go back here, we need to move the decimal place one to the left. So the decimal point would be here, it would move one to the left, and so we would end up with 25 decimeters. 250 centimeters equals 25 decimeters. Let's say we do another conversion. This time we're going to go all the way to the smallest unit we're looking at. 64 liters equals how many microliters? So we're going from something relatively big to relatively small. So you're going to need a lot more of them. That's just something to keep in mind. If you're going to a, a smaller unit, you're going to need more of them. If you're going to a bigger unit, you're going to need fewer of them. So let's see where these two things are. We're going from liters to microliters. So we'll start at liters, which are the base unit, and we're going all the way to micro. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. That's six down and to the right. So if we go back to the original problem, six down and to the right. So the decimal point would be there. We would go six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Each one of those is like a little nest. You could put a zero in it like an egg. Put the commas in. And so that would be equivalent to 64 million micro liters. That's the mu sign and a capital L. So hopefully this was a useful review of how to change metric units using the stair step conversion method. There's another list, uh, another picture of the actual stairs. The real keys to this are one, memorizing what the different prefixes are using the mnemonic. Then looking at this, being able to create the 13 steps in your mind. And for example, if you were doing this on a test, you can memorize it, get into the test, and on a piece of scrap paper, draw this out really quickly or on the back of the test. And that way, it's one less thing you have to think about, and you can use that tool all during the test. And then finally, how to use it. Follow the steps. Where do you start? Where do you finish? And then finally, move the decimal point as needed. So hopefully this has been helpful to you. Have a good day.